Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel 2010. So before we look up the detail of the VLOOKUP function itself, let's look at a circumstance where we might want to use this. Over on my left hand side, I've got two tables and I'd like to be able to reference one table from the other table. So for example, in yellow on the top left hand side here, I've got what I'm calling my lookup table. Um, for the purposes of simplicity, I've decided that uh, I'm a bookshop and if I sell an ebook, I'm going to charge 10 euro. If it's a paperback, I'm going to charge 25 euro. Or if it's a hardback, I'm going to charge 30 euro. In my second table, I've got a list of books that I want to sell. I've got the title, the author, and I've got the type. And the type matches the types that are in the lookup table. And in the column D, I'd like to be able to display my prices according to what's in the lookup table. So in other words, uh, in cell D8 here, I would like to be able to look up the price of a paperback in my lookup table. So the price of a paperback is 25 euro. Of course, I could type that in manually, but I'd like to be able to reference that value from my second table. So VLOOKUP is all about looking up information in one table from another. So let's go ahead and insert our first VLOOKUP function here. The VLOOKUP function is available in the Formulas tab uh, and it's in the function library under Lookup and Reference. That's the blue book here. So if I select the down arrow there, I get a series of functions. VLOOKUP is the last function. Uh, if you hover your mouse over the VLOOKUP function, you will get a short description of it. So I'm going to select VLOOKUP here. And this gives me my function arguments window. Now if I look at the top brown box up here, this tells me my syntax of my VLOOKUP and it's divided into four parts which you see here on the function arguments window. So the first thing I want to look up is I want to look up the value. So in my purple table I want to look up the value paperback. So I want to look up that value in the yellow table. So just click on cell C8 here or type C8 in the lookup value here. In the second line this is the second part of the VLOOKUP function. This is the table array. And the table I want to look up is my yellow table up here. So I select all values in my table from cell A2 down to B4 in this instance. Notice I do not include the heading on the table. So that's my table array. The third part of the VLOOKUP formula is the column index number. And that's where I want to tell uh, my function arguments, which of the columns in my lookup table I want to refer to. So I'm looking for the price. That's going to be in column two of my table. So I can just type in a two here. And finally, uh, the fourth uh, option, uh, which is an optional option, is either a value of true or false. And we'll be looking for an exact match here. So we need to type in the word false. If we weren't looking for an exact match or looking for a nearest value, we could type in the value of true or leave it blank. So now click on OK. And we can see here that the price of a paperback is 25 euro as we would expect. So let's change the uh, format of that cell to make it into a currency. And I'm using euro here, so you use dollars or whatever it is that you prefer to use. And we can check now that uh, my first book, Excel for Beginners by Dr. Excel, it's a paperback and its price is 25 euro, as I would expect by looking up the lookup table. Now I'd like to be able to copy that formula down to the remaining of the books to save me um, typing it all out again. And I can use Excel's autofill tool to do this, but I will have a problem here. So let me just show you what happens if I copy it down. So I'm copying it down by picking up the fill handle on the bottom right hand corner of, of cell D8 dragging it down to the bottom and you can see that I'm getting a lot of errors here. And that's because I'm not using absolute cell referencing. So my last step is to insert that. So first of all, undo this. Double click on my formula in here. You can see the color codes for, for everything here. And we want the table um, array to stay the same as we copy the formula down. So the easiest way to do that is to insert um, dollar sign. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The simplest one is click on the value and press the F4 key. That inserts a dollar sign before the A and before the 2. And I want to do the same for cell B4 here. Press F4, it inserts the dollar signs for me. And now I can press enter. So now I can copy my formula down. The lookup table values will not change. And you can see that my prices have now been copied down for each of the different type of books. So if I, for example, go down to the second last book here, uh, which is in um, cell D16, if I look up the formula for that, 
you can see that it is comparing the value in cell C16, which is ebook, that's the type. It's looking up in my lookup table, which is A2 to B4, um, in the second column to see what the, what the actual value is. And when I press enter on that, it tells me that I should be charging 10 euro for an ebook. So that's just about the simplest way that you can use a VLOOKUP function in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.